Uh, let, let's pay a thought for uh, the women. Uh, they've been making us proud. Uh, they've been drawn in what many people see as a tough group. Uh, we talk about that uh, this morning. Cody, uh, this is the first time you're here after the draws. So your thoughts? Um, a lot of people are scared already. Well, they will give their best, but I hope their best will be good enough. To get out of that. To group. get out of the group, because if you are stuck in the same group with the host nation uh, that we lost scandalously the last time <laughs> out <laughs> in a friendly <laughs> game, yeah. as well as um, Norway and Korea Republic, it means you have your work cut out and you need to not just up the ante, you need to do something out of the ordinary to get out of that group. Yes, we've made it to the quarterfinals of the World Cup before, many years back. And uh, the Falcons didn't have the best of preparations going into the just-concluded Women's Nations Cup. But now is the time for the NFF to get them the best going into next summer's World Cup in France. The girls have been talking tough. And despite the shoddy preparations, they did excellently well. Winning the ninth out of 11 editions, it's not impossible. But it is a very, very tall order. 1999 is the only year we got out of the group. Yeah. Of all the tournaments that we've attended. And we could have made it to the semifinals that year, I still recall. Yeah, 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 we could have. Uh, we could have. And do you think there's going to be any change? Well, it's not impossible. We have about um, six months to prepare. Um, now we understand that they will be playing some um, tune-up games, um, tournaments. Probably some and invitationals. Invitationals, yeah. It is very, very key. Now we still have the core of the team intact. They've been together for quite some time, right from the days of the Falcon. They're talking about Desire, Okpara, Nuzie, the Odega, and Aziza Toshuala. They are now at their prime. Yes, a number of them are old, but the experience, you can't underrate. We did see that with Onome Ebi. She combined well with us in Achewale. Uh, Rita Chikwelu that started yeah. shakily, yeah. kind of did and improved with the tournament. In the later stages. So basically, these guys have been to the World Cup as well. The core of the team were at the World Cup in 2015. So that World Cup experience will count for something. It's not impossible for we to get a win or draw. Mm -hmm. And even if we get to lose a game in the group stage and get us to the next turn, we need to. Because we can't just uh, be going to the World Cup to make up the numbers. All right. It's high time we made it beyond the group stage for okay. the first time since 1999. It's very, very possible, but the Hard work, work. is going to be <laughs> very, very intense. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what Francisca Odega has been talking about, just knowing that you can't just wake up and say you're going to the World Cup and get there and get a trophy and bring it down here. All you have to do is to do the work. I mean, just do the work, put in much effort, invest in it, and ensure that there's enough preparations, invitation and tournament that mm -hmm. Nigeria Football Federation has talked about, China and, of course, Cyprus. They just have to be at that tournament. We don't want to hear excuses when it's a few weeks to it. And also play international friendlies. Mm -hmm. That will definitely help them play as a team yeah. that we didn't really see you know, in Ghana. Let's hear from her. It's not just a day job. It's not something you just wake up and go to the world to perform or to bring yeah. back the trophy or something people are expecting from you. You have to give. It's like a give and take. For you to get there, yeah. you have to get yeah. enough preparation, you, a good preparation. And it's just like you're going to the wall. You have to prepare that you're going to get something. You can't just stand up and go to the wall like that. You will get killed. So if we have enough preparation, we have a lot of good, talented players, and we have time to blend together a lot of um, games, international friendlies, and that will help a lot. It depends on preparation. So if we have those things, I think we'll go. We'll, it's not just a day thing, but at least we'll start from somewhere. So I think that will help a lot. Yeah, that would definitely help them a lot if they can focus, you know, play more tournaments and get together all the time. It will help them a lot to actually see if they can get somewhere. We are not talking about them winning the trophy now because, you know, it's a very tall order. <laughs> so the thing is, just get past the group stage yeah. so you can, you know, excuse past like what Spurs did last night. You know, and that, and that would be the first time, in, tw that would be the first time in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sad that uh, we are looking at the possibility of the champions of Africa again and again squeezing past. For crying out loud, We've been campaigning at the World the Cup. Playing against are from where? We've been campaigning. They're, they're champions from where they're you know coming what? from. They've been ready I, I basically want to highlight the fact that uh, we've not okay. done well at the with world stage, African yeah. football, especially women's football. Nigeria being at the World Cup 
all through the existence yeah. since the World Seven Cup began, mm -hmm. we should at worst be getting to the semi-finals and the top four yeah, like, at you know, the moment. Mm -hmm. Because even nations that took up female football after we did yeah, yeah. in Asia and in Europe are much better. But well, you know the reason for that, right? What's the reason? Tell the me. The reason, okay. Tell how, me. How do you have a team? A I mean, structure it's structure behind all it's of these where teams. Where you have every tournament you go to, you have different coaches. And number two, you stay a whole year. I mean, one year, you won't kick a ball. It's, it's, it's very, very unfortunate. That's it. So you, uh, you want to talk Falcons about the girls. You are talk the about most the successful investment. national team, because male they, or female, they have the on the continent that. of okay. Africa. It's very unfortunate that um, the disposition of the There's NFL no sponsorship, it's not encouraged. This service. is a clarion call. I've said it again and again. We need to do better with women's right. football. We All should right. be ranking among the best are not trying to wriggle out of the group stage. Okay. It's preposterous. You remember we dropped points, right? I can agree with this. I ranking. know we did. Okay. It's unfortunate. So it tells you a lot that other countries are let's, preparing. Let's, let's. Korea Republic scored that many goals. 30. They considered you know, guys. And we are playing them. Well, let's we, just wait. We need, to, we need to move on. We need to move on. It's time to take a look at the papers. Let's see what the papers are, are saying. Uh, let's start with uh, Sporting Life, uh, the Wednesday uh, edition of uh, Sporting Life. And we go straight to it uh, right now. You have the story on Ogen Yonazi. Ogen Yonazi named, uh, Turkish super, named in Turkish Super Liga team. You have some other interesting stories. Some uh, we already uh, talked uh, about. Um, very interesting story. Uh, Bailey returns. Uh, Marcel Shaw, Smalley, doubtful. There's some stories uh, in the UEFA Champions League. Tokyo 2020 Olympics, why NFF stopped Uzoho. Uh, do you know anything about that story, Kayode? Well, it's, it's news to me, uh, but uh, what's grabbing my attention is again your Nazi naming in the Turkish mm -hmm. uh, uh, League Player of the oh, Week mm -hmm. and uh, nominees. Um, the young man has had a torrid time. With the Eagles of late. In the national team <laughs> lately. Uh, regular playing time at the club side, might just get him back mm -hmm. in the mix and uh, he needs it. Uh, to boot goal for his career and of course for the national team. All right. Okay, let me take a look at the complete sport here. That's the next people we're looking at this morning. And Everton fires Royal Abuse at success. What happened in this one? Okay, I think that penalty, the game against Watford, that was played uh, on Monday night. Well, okay. it's, it's, it's quite sad uh, because uh, Ryan Sterling has been in the news lately mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the abuse he had to endure uh, in the game between Chelsea and the Manchester City. Another black player now, a Nigerian, had to suffer another abuse being hauled at him in the Watford of uh, in the game of uh, Watford and um, Everton encounter. It's quite unfortunate, and I, I don't want to be talking about racism, but it is what it is. Much still needs to be done by um, football organizations, sporting bodies around the world. They need to put it on the front burner. Be you white. Or black we should endure and be tolerant of each other yeah. it's quite unfortunate because even john Barnes yeah. granted an interview and was talking about what he suffered yeah. during his playing days in the 80s and in the 90s now we are in 2018 and it's still happening it's, it's, a, shame, it's, really. it's, it's, it's a shame really all right okay so, so they can actually nip this one in the board and just forget all about it if you fails to break ucl doc you couldn't go in the game and Sunny opens the new Man City deal and Real Madrid will pay £63 million pounds for Aiden Hazard. That's cheap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sporting on our last uh, paper for review. I love interesting stories, but I'm interested in this one on the bottom street. Pep Guardiola said I have 15 players. Does that sound like an excuse to you, Cowdy? 15 players. 15 feet players. I guess he wants more. Feet. Players. Feet players, right sitting now. feet players. That's right what I'm now. saying. Does that's that's like like bench, they are quite, they are quite spoiled for choice. Uh, Pep Guardiola, being who he is, would always want to improve on the standard. But he's already he telling you he has 15. A lot of injuries. Well, players. if he's there having 15 injuries. feet players, they have to be 22 or 23, and he still wants more. Maybe if the rest are not fit, he's telling the owners of City that I might just offload some players come January uh, well, and buy some more. I, I think because he's plagued with injuries, though. It's all right. Message. Okay. Uh, I guess he's saying it if he loses and say, you know, I told you before. All right. He okay. wants to buy some more. That's Pep Guardiola for you. Okay. Uh, which one do we? Joshua begging for a title fight. That's coming from Deontay Wilder begging. Well, that, that's Wilder from the camp of Wilder. Wilder. That's what he's put yeah, out there. Year to year from Eddie the end. And the um, AJ camp, whether or Those not. Those guys have said, forget about true. Tyson Fury, you should be fighting well, AJ. You know, AJ has been calm whenever Wada talks. Sometimes he does not respond because he just wants to 
grab the headlines right. and maybe put him on mm -hmm. the front burner. But that fight we might just get to witness okay. at some point, but maybe a rematch between Fury right. and Wilder is what to be on the front oh. burner, basically. Okay, so all right. I kind of want to thank you for your time on the show today. Uh, it was really, a pleasure, guys. I uh, really appreciate that. We'll do this again some other time. Okay. All right. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day. We enjoyed it today. You're going to see us tomorrow. But you can join us later tonight for Sports Tonight. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Bye-bye now. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Thanks for watching.